So if one path to follow is basically trying to take the uh, PC approach and combine it with what we have, uh, no G GMBS and substituting some parts uh, uh, to get something that's working in a similar way and perhaps getting better results, we could actually take the existing the classical approach uh, which with P PCA, which as I said before, you could just take the uh, coordinates in X and Y, and that's that's what I did before, and get a result of about 80 to 90 percent recognition rates in most cases, uh, depending on the size of sets that I I dealt with. Uh, we could take the method of trying yes to, to to take the X Y coordinates and then actually substitute this with distances, for example, between the eyes, which should be easy enough to do with the uh, the NIST. Uh, um, face recognition uh, grand challenge set. Uh, and then to compare the performance and actually argue, look, we shouldn't be checking the X and Y coordinates, even not for uh, expression recognition or expression resistant recognition. Uh, we could just take the distances and take a GM, uh, GMBS type approach uh, and apply PCA to that and get much better results. So this is perhaps what we do next and I'll, I'll explain in the next video exactly how that's going to work.